So, uh, Rebel Moon Part Dos, The Scar Givers. I saw it. Uh, this is going to be a rant. I don't have enough energy to review it. This is a continuation of Rebel Moon Part 1, in where a young woman with a mysterious past um, is recruited by a group of farmers on an agricultural planet. Um, Something went down, and they need her assistance, and in part one, that young woman is tasked with gathering a ragtag bunch of hardened individuals of various backgrounds and skill sets, and together, um, they defend the agricultural planet. I don't remember the name of the planet. I barely remember the name of the characters. You've seen Seven Samurai? It's, it's that. It's paint by numbers, Seven Samurai. Rebel Moon Part 2, Scargiver, is the continuation of that. So we get to see, do the villagers succeed or fail in holding back the empire that's coming? And I don't want to give too much away because I want you all to bear witness to this movie. I don't want to give anything away. It's going to be really hard to do this rant because as painful as it was for me to see it, I want you too to experience that exquisite pain yourself. And, and some of you may like it and that's totally fine. I do not judge you in any fucking way. What I will say, Zack Snyder I wonder if he gives a fuck anymore. And I don't want the, the Snyderites, Snyderati, Snyderlings to come after me. If they do, I mean, that's, that's what it is. But I just want to give my honest opinion. Um, I don't... People were in this movie were acting. And they were saying words out of their mouth holes. But it was hard for me to find a connection to the things that we're saying because we were moving from one plot scene to another. And I'm not saying anybody in this movie is bad at acting. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying the material that we're given was, it appeared very chopped up. You're getting different blends of different stories. So we're getting the seven samurai element where, you know, we have, a village that's in need and they did something they did a mistake and they need someone with the skills to to help them out and so that was resolved in part one but the characters in rebel moon you're not given enough time to find out their motivations you're not given enough enough time to bond with them they're not given enough time to bond with one another um this movie has action. This movie movie has love making, but it's PG thirteen, so you won't see a lot, and that's okay. This movie has slow motion. This movie has lasers and and swords that look like lightsabers. It, it's it's creatively borrowing a lot from existing properties. What this movie do not, does not have is a strong story, strong characters, decent pacing. It, it, both movies were like two hours long, and they could have been well condensed. Hour and a half. But there is a masturbatory element to this film. There's a very spiteful element to both of these movies and and i don't know if you know the backstory with this um apparently Zack snyder went to lucas films and wanted to do a star wars i, I want to do a star wars let me do a star wars can i do a star wars and lucas films said fuck no well they didn't say fuck no but they told him we're not really we're not really feeling that at the moment and 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 more professional words 
And so Zack Snyder took it upon himself. You know what? Okay. I'm going to do my own thing. All right. And he went off and he spent a couple of years writing, developing Raboon. I, I believe it's supposed to be a comic book or something like that. I, I was watching this film and I had more fun doing the thumbnail to this video. This movie, Rebel Moon, has action and trauma and suspense. But I wasn't interested in any of it. It was just background noise. And I was seeing the film, and I was like, a lot of things are, I, I see the possibilities, I see the potential in a lot of things that are going on. The visuals, you know, people talking and, and doing things and acting and emoting. But I'm just not there. And I was like, why am I not? Why, why is that? Why is that the case? They had three screen screenplay writers to draft out screenplays and dialogue for all the motherfuckers on film. And why is no one other than the nemesis character? That's the only character that that's the only character in the movie that I remember the nemesis because her backstory is I wish she was the main character. Um, but and if you don't know, I'm gonna you gonna you you watch it, you'll 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 see it. I'll I'll put her picture on the screen somewhere. But I, there was just no motivation for me to continue watching. I was looking up the the background between uh, Arthur Leis, aka Cora. I was looking up everything other than paying attention to what Netflix and Zack Snyder want me to see, and that's bad. That's that's not good. I love action movies. I love. I love sci-fi operas, space operas. I'm sorry. I love, I mean, Jimon Hansen's in this movie, Anthony Hopkins in this movie, you know, that's right there. That's, that's perfect. You know, they, I really appreciate, I'm not dismissing any actor or actress in this movie. They got their check. They had, they looked like they had some type of fun and that's all well and good. What, what I, what made me mad most of all is that. This, I think both films cost $166 million. And I don't understand why this couldn't have been a series on Netflix. Why it couldn't have been an animation. I don't understand why it was two hours long. I don't understand why it was PG-13. I don't understand why Zack Snyder just cannot get out of 300 Man of Steel. that that mode he's like he's like he's been frozen in that aesthetic for a while and there's 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 callbacks to other movies that he's done there's callbacks to other movies that other people have done and i was just saying where what's the point of this shit like who should i root for who sh what story should i care about you know carrie elwes is in this movie i love carrie elwes you know um, I hope I'm saying that right. I apologize. But I was like, oh, he's he's only in here for for that for that scene. Okay, great scene. And that that scene was horrible. Like the way it was acted. I'm not saying just him in that scene was horrible. I'm just saying the way that and and you'll see it. I, I know it sounds like I'm rambling because I, I I like I said before I couldn't gather the strength to review this by the numbers. Um, technically it looks decent. It, it looks. It looks okay. Like I was wondering why some of the scenes kind of didn't look have that Zack Snydery feel. Not really. And then I checked out the cinematographer, and guess who it was? Zack Snyder. Zack Snyder was a cinematographer. He was the director. He was the writer. He was a cinematographer. And I was wondering, there was another person who followed Zack Snyder in most of his, if not all of his movies. Where the fuck is Larry Fong? I love his work. I love. The look of Watchmen. I love the look of 300. I love the look of Sucker Punch. He's done all of those. Why was that look here? And I don't know what the fallout fallout of that was. I don't know if there was a fallout. I don't want to speculate. I don't want to say you know anything other than where where was he? Because I think that would have helped. That would help me a little bit be more engaged. I I and I don't want to say this, and I apologize to anybody that loves. Zack Snyder's work, and I, and to some extent, I do love Zack Snyder's work. I love what he used to do. I don't know what he's doing now. There's a lot of spite in a lot of these films that he's he's doing now. They're they're they're, they're visual. You you see things that are moving and people are talking and things that are being shot and sliced up. But it it's there's there's a disconnect. There's a 
there's something wrong. And I don't want to say WB took the best of what Zack Snyder was. And we have like hollow fied Zack now, you know, we have spiteful Zack now we have like Zack Snyder. I'm just going to pull all of my past glories into one big goulash of a film. Netflix bought it. So it's got to be legit. So where's the harm in that? You know? So yeah, I, 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 I would have to say, experience it for yourself. Um, I, I don't want to see this again. I, I, I will see the last one because, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a masochist. I, I, I love hurting myself, you know, but, um, yeah, it, leave it, examine it for yourself, make your own opinions. And there's other tons of reviews that are going to, you know, break this movie down. I didn't think there was much of a movie to break down point blank period. I, I, I was just so angry. Like there, there's so many other stories. There are so many other directors that could have done this same thing for maybe a quarter of the budget, you know? And I don't understand why this was made other than, Hey, we have Zack Snyder. He's doing the shit for us. Watch it, you know? And I think Zack Snyder's name is more valuable it was Zack Snyder's producing. And I'm, I'm sorry that's a very hard take, but I just haven't seen anything up to the level of Dawn of the Dead. I haven't seen anything up to the level of Sucker Punch. I haven't even seen anything up to the level of Watchmen. You know, he needs somebody to like just limit the things that he can do. I, all you have to do, Zack, is point the camera, do your visual shit, have someone else write it, have someone else, you get a second director, have someone else edit that bitch, okay? So that it's a cohesive, engaging thing. And I don't think this was. Now this will this this movie will trend. They all do. Um, but I, I want I, I I wish Netflix could kind of like move away from all this. We're gaining content, we're gathering content, we're gathering, you know, big names in the industry. To, to make these movies and we're, we're not having quality checks. We're not having someone go over like, um, this is shit. Maybe we shouldn't release it, you know, but I'm, I'm not going to harp on anymore. I'm going to, I'm going to shut up. Yeah. Um, that's all I got. If you have, please like share, subscribe if you want to, I'm sorry, I'm sweating. <laughs> uh, uh, just the anger is just, is, is leaking out of me. So, um, yeah, that, that's all I got. See ya.